Hello everybody, we're still talking about the integration and uh, we're now talking about the numerical integration. Uh, we, we talked about the in the previous video about the uh, numerical integration of tabulated data. So we have the area under the curve and we saw the traps function and how we used it to um, get the value of the integration uh, and, and, and go through all these um, details. And now we will talk about another uh, thing and this is um, I think the most um, widely used uh, functions or, or method that we will be using a lot which is um, integrating an equation that you don't have any tabulated data about you so, so you don't have uh, the tabulated data you have an equation and you want to integrate this equation before I go through the MATLAB and how we can deal with these equations I just want to do a quick review on the theory of integration again just to make everybody um, um, aware of what we're doing so I'm, I'm uh, talking about the same example that we talked about before which is the plug flow reactor so you have the reactor um, that has a feed uh, with concentration C node and with the uh, effluent concentration CF so the reactions are taking place inside and you are um, having a change in the concentration due to the reaction and the the um, reactor has a length that starts with Z node uh, and ends with uh, with uh, ZF uh, so this is the initial uh, point and this is the final point of the reactor and the information that we know are usually uh, the initial concentration and you know the initial and the final length of the reactor and you want to know what is the exit concentration and this is what we need to do we talked before in in uh, the first video we, uh, we started with uh, in the integration that we um, we know that this kind of system is a distributed parameter system and that's why the equation that describes this system is a differential equation so in case i need to get this final concentration i have to deal with a differential equation and i cannot simply uh, put the, the these these values in the equation and get the final concentration. This is not possible. So to do this calculations, we uh, split this reactor into small uh, parts, and for each part, I I can do the calculations separately. Um, so I I start with this point when I know the the initial concentration and I know that the initial length. So I know everything about this very first point on the reactor. Um, from these two information, I can get the information about the first uh, slice, uh, the, uh, the, the, the end of the first slice of the reactor. And then knowing this information, I know the Z and I know the concentration, I can use them to get the next and then uh, repeat the same thing again and again till you go to the uh, final concentration. So you know this and from this you can calculate the final concentration. So this is how everything works. Um, so we need to define some uh, words we, we, we did before but I want to make sure that uh, they are fully understood by the audiences uh, which are the um, Z node and the ZF which are the upper and lower limits of integration so this is Z node and this is the F the, the limits of integration this is where the independent variable starts and when the independent variable ends um, and I know the C node is the boundary condition if it because this is a function of of, of distance uh, of of space. Uh, so I know that at this location the concentration is C node. In other cases, like uh, you have a system that is in unsteady state, uh, you have to use the, the the condition at time equals zero, for instance. So this is going to be an initial condition. So this is uh, the, the boundary condition and its initial condition if the independent variable is the time. Um, so this is the theory uh, briefly. And now there is one important thing to uh, keep in mind before starting to uh, work with MATLAB is uh, to differentiate between two types of equations that we might work with uh, while doing the integration which are the functions uh, of independent variables. So you have the equation dy by dx is a function of x only. It's not a function of x and y. Um, and in, in cases like this, this is a simple form of the equation. Of, of course, uh, it, it might be a complex function, but uh, I mean complicated function. But what I mean that this uh, would be easier than the other case that we will talk about uh, in a few minutes. 
Um, so the information that you need to know is only the limits of integration. So you don't need to know anything else. If you know the limits of integration, you are good to go and you can solve the equation. And um, there are many functions that can perform this kind of, uh, of, of integrations. There is a quad, this is integral, integral 2, and integral 3. And we will. this is what we will discuss in this video today. The other function or the other type of equation that the function is, uh, or the equation is function of both the dependent and the independent variable. So the, the, the general form would be something like this. It's dy by dx is function of x and y. In this case, you would need more information. So you'd need the limits of integration and you would need to know the initial or the boundary condition. So you need to know three pieces of information. Here you only needed two pieces of information. So this is one extra piece of information because of this y. Um, that is uh, uh, here in this function, um, and and this is this is the the, the, the most common function uh, or, or shape of equations. It's it's not common to see the function uh, only of the independent variable. You would always see this as a function of both. And in case you have um, more than one equation, you have to like two equations or three equations coupled together. Uh, you would have you would have uh, this case uh, uh, or this is the case and have a, in case of coupled equations um, and the function that can you can use is the ODE45 uh, and there are other types of the ODE functions or ODE stands for the ordinary differential equations so for the ordinary differential equations it could be 45 it could be 23 it could be 23s there are many functions depending on the the type of equation that you're working with and how uh, you can deal with them so this is going to be the topic of the next video so we'll just focus on this uh, on this um, type today and this is this is pretty simple actually in MATLAB I'm, I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, give an example solve it numerically and I mean analytically and then see how we can solve it numerically so we can compare the values so the example that we are gonna go is a very simple equation uh, it's uh, integration of uh, x squared dx from 1 to 10 uh, so you will just do the uh, integration x power 3 divided by 3 from 1 to 10 and then by substitution it's going to be 333. Uh, so now let's go to my lab and see. So uh, I would just press or, or type help and then quad. Um, it's going to give you a lot of information, but this is the syntax that we will be using, or this is the main syntax, or the basic syntax. Uh, so it's uh, giving some information, that's the integration of the function uh, fun from A to B, whatever. Um, and this is why is function of x should be, um, uh, fun, fun is a function handle. So this is the point, that, that this is a function handle. So it's not like the what we did before uh, in, in analytical integration. Uh, we can type the function, or we here need to uh, use it as a function handle. Um, but here, this is one information that quad will be removed in future releases. So in, in the next versions of my lab, if somebody is working with an, a newer version of what I'm using, is 2017A. So if you're using 20, uh, 2018 or something, I think it's not going to be there. So um, to work with it, you can uh, use, because it, it's going to give the same syntax for the integral function. Um, so it's giving more information, but this is the same syntax, okay? Um, and again, function should be a function handle, and um, it's gonna be the same thing. Um, uh, one thing I need to, um, I just missed it, is, is this table. I think this uh, summarizes what I was saying before. Um, so I'm, I'm here just going through the, the what I was saying, but this are, these are the functions. Um, uh, this is the equation to be solved uh, in, in case of function of x or y, you can use ODE, here you use integral. The difference between these two is the way it's doing the calculations. I'm, I'm, I'm not very familiar with, the, with these two types of or, or methods of, of calculation, but this is the only difference. So the syntax is the same for both. So let's... let's uh, um, so let's uh, do f is the integral of um, the function it's at x and this is gonna be x or 2 uh, there's something wrong that I did here but I'm, I'm just gonna uh, do it and then see what's the problem and then from 1 to 10 okay 
um, he, he's, he's saying that this is the problem and this is because he's gonna do some calculations I'm, I'm again I'm not I'm, I'm not familiar with this type of calculation so you need to do element wise multiplications and whatever thing so uh, this is what you you do to solve the problem so it's giving you 333 which is exactly what we did here okay so this is this is pretty pretty nice um, in in uh, in in case you use you want to use the quad function it's giving the same output okay so um, they're, they're gonna give the same thing you can make the problem more complex so you can make it multiplied by log x uh, uh, oops again the element y is multiplication it's gonna give you a solution if you're making it more complex uh, for instance if you make it multiplied by or divided by sine Five multiplied by uh, oops, multiplied by x. Um, it's gonna solve it. Uh, sometimes the, the the function would be like uh, not not too easy to work because the sign has um, like the the shape of the sine curve might make some um, or the integration dif uh, difficult. But let's let's um, try anything. Uh, it's it's gonna work. Um, so so this this is how how the function works it, it doesn't face the problem of not being able to solve the equation because of the uh, analytical integration issues so whatever the equation you put it's gonna work one last thing i want to mention is what we, we said here that there is integral integral two and integral three so the integral two and the integral three do the double and triple integrals so for instance if i have a function like this um, it's going to be uh, integrated uh, uh, once with respect to x and then with respect to y. So if, if you go through the integration um, numerically or uh, I mean analytically, it's going to be uh, as you see, it's integrating it here and then getting this uh, x disappeared and just turned into 12 and then do the integration with respect to y and ends up to be 72. So this is integration of x, y, dx. So this is exactly what we're going to do here. So um, I'm going to call it g. It, uh, so g is going to be the integral 2. So he, he now understands that I'm doing double integral. He, he's saying now what is the function, what is the x minimum, what is the x maximum. So this is going to be function of x and y. Um, and this is x multiplied by y, the x uh, from 1 to 5. Um, and then from 2 to 4. And it's giving you 72. So it's giving the same thing, the same output. Uh, of course, it's it's easier. It it uh, I, I don't know exactly how it, how it does the calculations again, but it's it's giving the same output. Again, if you are making the equation more complex, uh, you should get an output without any issues. If you're uh, dividing um, and then making this power five, for instance, it's gonna give you any any solution. Uh, regardless of the equation that you put so uh, this is one uh, one good thing of the beauty of the um, numerical integration with this software that we use we don't face the problems of um, wasting time in doing the calculations and the, the, the uh, possibility of doing some numerical errors in, in the uh, manual calculations. So um, if you're stuck in analytical integration, you can simply go to numerical integration and you're kind of 100% sure that your problem will be solved. So um, I hope this helps and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.